From Strawberry Fields in New York Central Park, a living memorial to Beatles great John Lennon. To San Francisco, where the Grateful Dead's long, strange trip began, there were memorials last night for Jerry Garcia. For much of the last three decades, Jerry Garcia, guitarist, composer, and mellow leader of the Grateful Dead, was the poster child of American counterculture. Garcia died yesterday of a heart attack at the age of 53. The Grateful Dead helped define a generation, and then the one that followed, by being reborn in recent years as one of the most popular touring bands in the nation. The Dead were followed wherever they went by fans known as Deadheads. <laughs> Just pain, you know, just sadness. Uh, I feel like a part of me is, is, is no longer, and I'll carry it with me for always in my heart, but, you know, it's, 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 just, a, it's just loss. It's been said at Grateful Dead concerts that there aren't any strangers, only friends who haven't met yet. Those friends came to Golden Gate Park not only to remember band leader Jerry Garcia, but to celebrate all that he came to represent. He was a spiritual advisor more than just a musician. Somebody that was trying to teach people a better quality of life. And I don't know, just someone that was trying to teach people how to get along. I'm just totally blown away like everybody else. Yeah, it's really sad to know that I'm never going to be seeing him at the shoreline anymore, my favorite place to see Jerry play. I was at home alone in my apartment this afternoon when I heard the news on the radio, and I felt really isolated um, there by myself, and I wanted to come and be with other people who remember the dead. and. Yet you're not joining the crowd down there, actually, on the field. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, being inside a, whole, a crowd of a bunch of people makes me kind of nervous. The Dead started three decades ago in San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district. Loyal fans put out flowers for the man who led a rock and roll phenomenon. I just feel like there's so much that we missed out on. And, you know, we would just, I don't know, so many shows that we could have gone to. Just a sad day. The dead will always be here. They, they, it's like Jimi Hendrix is still here with us. Yeah. Janis Joplin, John Cipollina, Bill Graham. Yeah. They're all still here with us. So far a very peaceful crowd. Some people have also said they plan to camp out here because other deadheads are expected to arrive from throughout the country and so the remembrance is far from over. I'm Tui Vu for CBS News in San Francisco. The Grateful Dead got its name from a dictionary. The early band members opened the book and the first thing they saw was the phrase Grateful Dead. It's a traditional British folk ballad in which a human helps the ghost of someone who has died recently find peace. Call it karma. In Los Angeles last night, there were thousands trying to do the same for Jerry Garcia. Drew Griffin reports from Los Angeles. They have come together thousands here in Los Angeles because that's how and why the Grateful Dead and its fans exist. Jerry Garcia's music brought them all together. What happened after that over the years has turned into a culture. Wherever you go, it's, um, it's like, like your family. It's an extended family, basically. It's, I don't think it's ever happened on this planet to the extent that it's happened around the dead. You know, the Lane Cosner is one of the originals here. He saw his first show in 1969. But Jerry Garcia and his band have crossed four decades now, gaining new fans, new family members. There is sadness here and concern. One of the longest running rock and roll road shows has come to an end. It's like a, it's a closing to an era, you know, because it'll never be the same again. <laughs> In the end, the rock and roller who spanned generations couldn't survive his own hazardous lifestyle. 
Garcia was just 53, succumbing to a life of drugs, cigarettes, and the endless road. His body found in his room at a Northern California drug rehab center where Garcia had recently checked himself in for heroin addiction. All that really doesn't matter to dead fans. What does matter, they say, is that the music and the movement Garcia left behind lives on. It's already been born. Jerry was just the grandfather of it all. Like a Grateful Dead concert, this wake tonight in Los Angeles for Jerry Garcia just seems to go on and on. In Los Angeles, Drew Griffin for CBS News. Lynette? Drew, the Grateful Dead spanned two generations. Tell us about the range of ages at the park last night. Well, the third generation was here tonight. Infants, babies coming. In fact, the one man we talked to, Lane Cosner, had his little baby son here, just about a year old. So it looks like Jerry Garcia and his music will live on into another generation. Drew Griffin, thank you. Grateful Dead fans around the country are holding vigils for the late Jerry Garcia. Stunned fans gathered from coast to coast to mourn the singer and guitarist. The leader of the Grateful Dead died of an apparent heart attack yesterday in California. When they come to take you down. The bear like Garcia with his wild gray hair and beard has wooed devoted fans since the 1960s. The Grateful Dead spawned an attitude and lifestyle that for some will never end. He did what he, he, did what he loved his whole life, and man, we can't grieve that. Get to not only be with the friends that you're with, but everybody who's around is, is with you at the concert. The vibe will always be there. You can just show by being there. It's just a home. It's like that Elvis thing. He's up in the mountain somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we pray that he is. The immense popularity of, uh, of the dead, it was always so well placed in his hands, you know, because he was just a very, very generous guy, lovely guy. He was a hip cat from the old school. He didn't ever tell you what he, you, he thought you wanted to hear. He told you what he was really thinking, which is a pearl beyond price, you know. We are one of the original members of the band, said Garcia's death is a loss to anyone who loves music. But at it, Garcia's life should be thought of as a blessing to everyone.